Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're gonna learn about AJAX. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. It uses JavaScript to send and receive data without a page refresh. AJAX is a technology, it's not a programming language. So the word asynchronous just means that we can load the content without having to refresh the page, and we can keep loading that content while at the same time time still browsing the website. Now the data that we're going to be working with is usually in XML format, but it can also be text, HTML, or JSON. So the main feature of Ajax is that it can receive and send data without a page refresh. Okay, so down here on this chart, you can see how the whole Ajax process works. So first we load index.php page, which can be a home page and we get a response from the server with a bunch of HTML and we land on this index.php page. So we got a response from the server in the content type of text and HTML. And now we're viewing index page. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get game-list.php using an Ajax request. We're gonna request that page from the server using Ajax and the server is going to respond with Ajax response with a content type text or XML. And then we're gonna update our index.php page with that Ajax response content. And all of that is going to happen while we're still on the index.php page. So you can see that we're not going anywhere. We're still on index.php page and uh, we're gonna be using JavaScript's XML HTTP request object to send Ajax request and get the response back and then update our index.php page with a list of games that we're gonna get from game list.php. So over here on the right hand side you can see XML HTTP request object and this is all the code that we're gonna be using to send Ajax request and get the response back and then update our um, elements in our HTML. So XML HTTP request is an object and we know that objects have methods. So we're gonna be using the open method to get to the game list.php. And then we're gonna use the send method to actually send the request. And finally, we're gonna access the property of our object, which is a response text that's going to have the actual content. And so you can also think of uh, XML HTTP request object as a browser. Uh, but instead of using a browser, we're using JavaScript to get the content of the page without having to go anywhere. So you can think of the open method as if you're typing the URL in the browser and the send method as if you're hitting the enter key to start loading that URL. And then finally, you can think of the response text as the actual content that gets loaded on a web page so you can uh, grab uh, whatever content that's on the page. And all of that is going to happen automatically in JavaScript. You can also see that we're gonna be accessing the element via the document object model. And we're gonna be using a method called getElementById. We're gonna specify content because that's gonna be the ID of our div element. And then we're gonna be accessing that element's inner HTML to update the content that we get from Ajax response. And just to clarify a little bit further, this is what the document object model looks like. So at the top, you can see that we have our document object and underneath the document object, we have all these elements. One of them is going to be our div element with an ID content. And that's how we're gonna be accessing this element by get element by ID. And we're gonna specify content to select this specific element with that ID. So that's how we're gonna be selecting that element. And then we're gonna access its property, which is the inner HTML, and set it to response text, which is gonna be our Ajax response content. All right, so now that we understand how Ajax works, let's go ahead and actually code this thing. So I'm gonna open up NetBeans and create a new file. First, I'm gonna create that game list PHP file that's gonna have our list of games, which is the content that we're gonna be grabbing 
with Ajax. So it's just gonna have a simple list of video games. Some of my favorite video games that I've played. Okay, so that's gonna be all the content for game list PHP. And now let's go ahead and create the actual index file, which is gonna have all of our JavaScript. So we're gonna say script type text JavaScript to let the browser know that we're gonna be coding in JavaScript. I'm gonna close the tag. Actually, before we code JavaScript, let's go ahead and create the div that we're going to be updating. So it's just going to have div ID with ID content. And so its inner HTML is empty right now, and we're going to be updating it with JavaScript. Also, let's go ahead and add the form button, which is the button that we're going to be clicking to update the div tag. And we're just going to add input on click equals get content, which is going to be the name of our function that we're going to create. And it's going to be a button with a value get content. And that's it. Now let's go ahead and create the actual function. So function get content. And so the first thing that we're going to do is create the instance of the HTTP request object. var XML HTTP. So that's going to be the name of our variable, uh, which is going to have the instance of the XML HTTP request object. So here what we're doing is creating an instance of the HTTP request object. Next, we're going to use the open method of the XML HTTP request object. And we're going to be using the get method. And the name of our page is going to be gamelist.php. And because this request is not going to be asynchronous, we're going to set the third value to false. So what this does is specifies the method and the URL of the request. So this is analogous to us typing a URL into the browser. And the next thing we got to do is use the XML HTTP send method to hit the enter on a browser so that we can start loading the page and then get the content from it. Okay, so at this time we actually have access to XML HTTP response text, which is going to have our content of the game list PHP page. So now let's go ahead and select the element which is our div ID here and uh, access its inner HTML. So first let's create a new variable and call it element and then we're going to use document dot get element by ID content. So if we look on the DOM chart again this is exactly what we're doing. So document is the object, get element by ID is the method of the document object, and then the content is the ID of the element, which is how we're selecting the element. And once we have selected the element, we have access to this element's property, which is inner HTML, and we can set it to whatever text we like, which is gonna be our Ajax response. Okay, so now element inner HTML equals XML HTTP dot response text. And that's it. Everything should be working now. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like in a browser. And something went wrong. Oh, okay, so make sure that this is this method is definitely case sensitive, so you gotta make sure that uh, this B here is uh, capitalized. 
So enter exactly as it is here. I'm gonna save it, refresh, hit the button, and now we have our content from gamelist.php page and it's working. Okay, so our Ajax is working. Now let's go ahead and create a hide button as well so we can hide the content. So I'm gonna add the new input on click and this function is gonna be called hide content. Type is also gonna be button and value is gonna be hide content. And here I'm gonna create a new function and call it hide content. var element equals document get element by ID so it's the same thing content that selects our div tag and then we're just gonna say element inner HTML equals blank so that's gonna delete everything that's inside the inner HTML of our div tag Refresh, get content, hide content, get content, hide content. So that's the main feature of Ajax is that we're able to get content and modify our div tag without having to refresh the page. And that's it for this Ajax tutorial for beginners video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.